Every software named after an animal is always exceptional, and the Kangaroo plugin for After Effects is no exception. The plugin by Good Boy Ninja lets you intelligently duplicate and then offset almost anything. It's reminiscent of repeaters, but with way more power and flexibility. You create the first copy, and Kangaroo does the rest, saving you precious time on those annoying repetitive tasks. Kangaroo allows you to achieve perfect spacing between copies, blend seamlessly between paths, increase effect intensity on subsequent copies, offset time remaps to split image sequences, blend colors, blend text styles, and detect number sequences. This is one of those plugins that on the surface appears to be very simple, but it's that simplicity that allows for almost infinite creativity. Now, if all of that sounded a bit overwhelming, don't worry. I've explored the plugin and prepared some examples to demonstrate its capabilities. Let's jump in. Let's create a cool text animation like this. So to start with, I've just got a simple text layer. I'm going to duplicate this, drag it down a bit, scale it down, drag this smaller one below the larger one on the layer stack. Now let's change the fill of this smaller one to the same as our background. Let's name this big text layer as start and let's name the smaller text layer as end. Now let's click this make in between button you can see it's added a new text layer. The position, the scale, and the color are all halfway between the start and end. If we keep pressing make in between, it's gonna keep creating copies that blend with more and more steps between the beginning and end. Here I've created about 15 copies. Now let's make this even cooler. Let's add a scale keyframe at the very bottom layer and come forward a few frames and scale it up a bit and then come forward to 15 frames and scale it back down. Let's highlight these keyframes, add some easy ease, and let's do the same with the very top layer, but a few frames later. Scale keyframe, come forward a few frames, scale it up, come forward a few more keyframes, scale it down. Add some easing. Now, if we press this rebuild button, something magical is going to happen. If we press play, you can see there's almost a Mexican wave. And the reason this has happened, if I press Control A and I press U to show all the keyframes, you can see it's added scale keyframes to all of the layers in between and it's spaced the keyframes from beginning to end. If we wanted to make this animation longer, all we'd have to do is simply drag the keyframes for the top layer forward a bit and press rebuild again. And there we go. If we wanted to change the positions a bit, it's super, super easy. So for example, I could drag this bottom layer up here and I could drag the top layer down here. And if we now press rebuild, it's moved everything to fit with our new positions. Hey, if you end up purchasing this plugin after watching this video, there'll be a discount code for you in the description. This also helps me out and keeps the channel running. Thanks. Let's look at another example. Here is a small animation I created, and we are gonna use Kangaroo to turn this into an awesome animation of DNA helixes. So I'm gonna right click this animation, select new comp from selection. So I'll name this composition DNA strand, and I will set the duration to about 30 seconds. I want to loop this animation. So I'll right click time, enable time remapping, hold alt and click the stopwatch and add an expression called loop out. Now I can extend this all the way to the end and it should keep looping. Let's move this down and scale it down. Next, I'll duplicate it, bring it up a little bit and let's move it forward two frames. Next, we can use the make next button on the kangaroo panel and this will keep making new copies. It will offset them by two frames and it will also offset them by the Y position that we changed on the first copy. And we have something pretty cool like this. Let's make a few more copies until they go all the way off screen. That should do it. Let's right click this DNA strand and again, click new comp from selection. Let's move this composition back a bit, turn on continuously rasterized, and let's position it to the left and add some rotation. Let's duplicate this composition, move it to the right a bit, and offset its position again by a few frames. Now we can click make next again, and it's gonna make another DNA strand, and click again, and it's made another DNA strand. And for each copy, it's offset the position and the number of frames that we did for the first copy. And if we now play this, we have a pretty cool animation of DNA helixes. So next, we're gonna create a cool loader animation. So I've pre-prepared this animation. It's really simple. It's just two circle shape layers, and each of them has a trim paths on it. You can add this by just pressing the add button and then select trim paths. And all I've done for these two circles is to just keyframe the start and end properties. Now, we can really liven this up with only a few clicks. If I come over here to the kangaroo panel and click make in between, you can see it's added a additional circle and the color and the extent of the trim paths is halfway between the yellow and the pink circles. And we can even add a few more. 
So let's try playing this animation now. Now you may have noticed this easing graph. This will actually allow you to change the distribution of the duplicated layers. So say we wanted the additional circles to be all bunched up to the yellow end. We can do this by just changing these handles like so. And now you can see they're all bunched up towards the yellow end. If we want to do the opposite and have them all bunched up towards the pink end, we can do the opposite. And if you right click, they even have a bunch of presets here. So here I have a simple text layer with the number 10 in it. If I duplicate this, bring it below and type the number nine, and then I click the kangaroo button, you can see it's just going to continue the sequence. If I create a few more, we can create a cool little countdown. I can highlight all of these layers apart from number 10 and just parent them to number 10. Then let's scale it up and reposition it to the center, add a position keyframe. And then two seconds later, let's move it all the way down until zero is center screen. Add some easing. And then in a few seconds, we've created an animation that counts down. And finally, here's a bonus one that I thought was pretty cute. You can offset a video or a image sequence like this duck Duplicate the duck, bring it forward a few frames on the timeline and bring it to the right. Now let's press make next and press it again. And let's duplicate these four, bring them down, press make next again, grab everything and make it a bit more central. And now we have a cute little animation of ducks walking. My favorite feature is definitely the ability to seamlessly blend text. It's something I've attempted with repeaters before, but you can't achieve the color blending like you can with kangaroo. You also can't easily update both ends of the blend. Almost every time I would just end up surrendering and doing it in Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please like the video, subscribe and click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Happy animating.